On today's Pro Presenter Show, brought to you by ChurchTechU.com, showing keynote presentations. Hi, I'm Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com, where you can find hours of Church Tech tutorials just like this one, courses in my exclusive community, ChurchTechU.com, because ministry loves company. Sometimes you're going to have different types of presentations show up at your church. In another tutorial, I told you about importing PowerPoint and what you can do in ProPresenter 6 once you do. Today, I want to show you how to import keynote presentations. It's a little bit different. First, don't forget that this is only available for Mac. If you're Windows only, try and have the person who gave it to you export it as PowerPoint because what I'm going to show you won't work if you don't have Keynote installed. Once that's set, you're ready to go. So let's head over to my computer and take a look at how. Once you've got ProPresenter open, if you go to try and import the keynote file by going to file import import file you'll notice that you can't import the keynote file here it is see can't import it So how do you import it? Well, go to Finder. And then navigate to the folder that it's in here. We're already there. Now drag that file into the timeline in ProPresenter. So right here in this playlist. And I'm going to put it right there. So here we have it. You'll notice that when you click on that item, it looks just like a foreground video. It has a play button, just like a foreground video, when it's not in a song, sermon notes, or other document. Here are a couple of differences that you should know. First, you can't add it into the video image bin. See? Can't do it. Also, you can't drag it into another document. That doesn't work either. So, let me show you what happens when you do hit this play button, though. It fires up Keynote and starts the presentation. Now this is why, of course, that it won't work on a PC, or it won't work if you don't have Keynote installed on a Mac. It also takes over your output, control, and if you have it and have a properly configured recent version of Keynote, the stage display screen as well. Now it's just like running a Keynote presentation. When you're done, hit Escape, and it'll return you back to ProPresenter where you continue on with your service just as you were before. This isn't the way that I'd encourage people who don't know ProPresenter to make their presentations. Instead, I still think that having them give you a text file that you can easily import is a better way to go. But in a pinch, this is better than nothing. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell icon on YouTube to make sure you hear all about my videos when they come out. But if you'd like a deeper dive into ProPresenter, I think you'd like to take one of my ProPresenter mini courses for free. Just go to tdm.fyi slash pro, the number six, mini, M-I-N-I, and you should know that this video will be included in the ProPresenter creation course. So sign up for that and any of the other mini courses there.
for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com. Go out and change eternity.